Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Tittle Tattle Tarot. It's Georgie. And I just thought I'd share with you uh, the portfolio of work that I'm going to take to a dog show tomorrow. <laughs> um, it's like one of these local country fates. Uh, they've got dog show and all kinds of Morris dancing, all kinds of bits and pieces going on. It's only up the road. So um, I thought I'd share with you the little portfolio that I'm going to take. Uh, these are all just photocopies of the original pictures. So, um, yeah. So I just thought I'd flick through in front of you so you can see some of the animals that I've drawn. <laughs> this is um, a gorgeous pug. Um, I don't do horses very often. Um, I'm more of a dog person than a horse person. And uh, whenever I get a commission for a horse, it always scares me a little bit because um, I'm not really a horsey person and trying to get all the bridle and everything right. Um, it gives me nightmares, really. <laughs> so um, I find um, horses a little bit intimidating, if you like. But um, yeah, I was quite pleased with that one. This is my own girl. There she is. Miss Wiggle, she, I draw her a lot because um, because she's there. <laughs> and when you've got a gorgeous model, you know, your muse sitting in front of you, be silly not to use her. So, yeah, I draw her quite a bit. Uh, this was um, a birthday present for a local lady, her husband, and he's notoriously hard to buy pictures for, or well, not pictures, to buy any present for. So um, she got her dog, this is Yo-Yo, <laughs> got Yo-Yo drawn for her husband and uh, he was really pleased with that. So yes, it was a nice gift for him. And then sometimes people want um, more than one uh, pet drawn. So, you know, I happily um, do two. And in this case, they were individually mounted, but put together in a big frame. So yes, yeah, gorgeous dogs. I love doing ears as well, especially if they're very um, hairy ears. I sort of over-exaggerate them if you like, but um, I, I like to, do all the frilly bits around the ears <laughs> so that's those two um yeah another two this time uh the two done as one picture uh this one's got uh some corgi in him and uh, julian goes around to these people's houses for um a massage uh you know to do massage on on the guy that owns these and uh, <laughs> this one will have your feet off. You know what corgis are like. They're very sort of uh, herding dogs. So uh, they look all sweet and innocent. But uh, my goodness, <laughs> they'll soon have your ankles. <laughs> so there we go. Another horse, another one that caused me all kinds of trouble with the, um, the bridle. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed doing it. And the more that I do them, the more I get used to them. But even so, it's still a bit scary, all that leather. <laughs> um yeah this one here this is um a little doggy that crossed the rainbow bridge so it's always lovely to um do a picture of um a departed pet you know and um it's lovely to get people's reactions um usually it's you know, quite emotional and oh, i like to make people cry <laughs> with my portraits oh but yeah this one here mason um yes I don't know whether he's a French bulldog or what he is, but he's a bit of a character, this one. And um, this is like a sort of um, Rottweiler cross. Um, so, yes. And another one of Miss Wiggle. You've seen this one before, I think, but uh, this is where I just like to get in real close to her. And this damn tongue, I thought I had to do it in colour because the... Um, the tongue's always out, so very rare for me to add some colour, but I just added a little smudge of pink and some pink on the tongue as well, um, <laughs> just because it's there and uh, I thought it needed needed something and it worked. Lovely golden Labrador or Retriever. I'm never quite sure whether they're Retrievers or Labradors, but um, yeah, he was a nice boy. He looks so dignified. Um, again, this is quite recent now, coming up to the recent pictures. He was very wet. He'd come out of the water. So um, I hope I got across that sort of wet fur look, damp dog look. <laughs> and again, another very recent one that I've put up. So you've probably seen this one. Beautiful dog. And I think I said in one of my posts how rare it is to see an Alsatian at the moment in this country. I don't know what it's like where you are. And this is the most recent one that I've done. This is Lizzie. And uh, her owner came to collect her last weekend. And this was another birthday present for someone. And then 
right on the end here. Um, this one is, again, it's not the kind of thing that I normally do, but um, the owners of this lovely boy, they said, oh gosh, he's so, um, what did they say? He, they said to me, oh, he's a bit like Winston Churchill, but he's very sort of military. <laughs> Reminds us of a soldier. So I thought, oh, well, um, I'll do him in an outfit. They gave me carte blanche to do what I wanted, which is always lovely. So, you know, I decided to put him in all this uh, regalia here and um, framed him up in a big frame, lovely, big, wooden, chunky frame. And uh, yeah, they were really pleased with that. So it's, it's always scary when somebody says, oh, just do what you want and you do what you want and hopefully you get it right. But yeah, so this is what I'm taking with me, my little portfolio um tomorrow Sunday and uh, I hope that you know I get some people that want me to draw their beloved pets whether they're still with them or whether they've crossed the rainbow bridge whatever um so yeah I just like to share the art every now and again and it's so muggy here and really hot in Sussex um so I don't know what it's going to do tomorrow hopefully it won't rain if it rains um hmm, that won't be so good but um you have a lovely weekend whatever you're doing and um, I'll catch up with you very soon. You take care. Bye-bye.